Hey guys, so first off, you can see that stain there. I've already freaking stained. Is that even a stain? No, it's not. <laughs> it's engraved in whatever it's engraved in. This is why I don't like carpet. Look, like already, I've I've not even been there for a week. And as I said, I've fucked nose up. What that is. You want to think I've just hoovered the place. <laughs> anyway, so this is going to be a lip collection my lipsticks and lip glosses this is long overdue i've just been a bit busy today's been really stressful so i thought you know what let's just film a video so how i've done this because i think this is going to be easy when it comes to lipsticks and lip glosses and stuff is to just put them in categories as in company categories i think it's just gonna be a lot easier so first off we will start over here so i have the avon um nude lipsticks by the way i'm not going to show you every color because we're going to be here all day um i have it in the shade divine twig you can see that and um marvelous um maca i think when i did the test this was my generally my it's meant to be like obviously because this is ages ago but when they first came out you pick like sort of what skin tone you are and um yeah then then choose what lipstick's kind of your nude um and this one was which is marvelous mocha but then i decided i like this color as well divine twig so this is not really a nude color on me but um <laughs> i really like the color but yeah that's the nude color on me um and this this one is just like a burgundy color so really like these i don't know if you can still get them or not i've not looked in an avon magazine in ages and i don't think they get avon here what i want to do is actually message her and see if it's not too like out her way to send me a book because obviously i've kind of moved and i was the one in the household that was buying more from it so you know i don't know if it's worth it for her to travel that far because i know she lives in little over like lives not long not long away from my house but i don't know or i just might have to just order it online but you know, so there's that. I then have a L'Oreal uh, Colour Richie lipstick. I don't use L'Oreal products anymore because they don't know how to respect their customers. Uh, <laughs> next thing I have is the Tanya Burr lipsticks. You can't get these anymore. I think I mentioned this in um, uh, my uh, blush, blush collection, blush and highlight collection, how it shames me that she doesn't do this line anymore because it's really good quality as i said in that video i don't follow her because she kind of does well last time i checked she kind of just does vlogs and stuff like that uh, and at the time and even now i don't unless i really like unless i really like the personality i will subscribe to just a vlog video a, company, a person that just does vlog videos but it's very rare um but yeah um, there's no point really telling you the colours but this is the only red in my collection though um, in Big Kiss but I don't even know why I'm telling you your name you can't even get them anymore but it's the only red in my collection because I don't reach for reds like, I used to have quite a few and I was like why do I have a loads of red lipsticks I don't use them I just use, wear them so I just kept one so there's no point of keeping lipsticks for the sake of keeping them right next sleek I am obsessed with sleek <laughs> you can probably tell I like sleeks lip products so first off i have the sleek lip evolver gloss i did a review on that recently i then have the sleek glist what they called officially shattered glass shattered uh, glass they're basically um glitter toppers i then have uh three of their matte me metallic um lip uh colors lipsticks whatever liquid lipsticks whatever you, whatever you want to call them so there's them and the colors that i have i mean i would say the shades but i really can't bother <laughs> i then have the um that say it loud satin lipsticks which i did a uh, review on it seems well, i want to say recent but i think it was a while ago actually um in beautylicious which is a purple color um no diggity which i don't even know what color this is oh it's like a burgundy color and then this one in the shade um my neck my back as well as a song called that. that's why i said it like that which is the nude color <laughs> i then have two co um 
These are the CO Metallic Liquid Lipsticks. They're not metallic. They're just glosses. Just yeah. <laughs> they're not the when this is the issue when I first like tried metallics. The issue I have is sometimes a, a company will market it as a metallic, and it's clearly not a metallic. It's you're just pushing the you're just pushing it a little bit. It's more like a gloss. <laughs> I then have two of the NYX Cosmic Metals. Only two survived. Um. They start. They started to smell, and um, the ones that I did have, because I did have quite a few, so I had to throw them. I mean, a lot of makeup that I have, I will keep past its expir expiry date. But once it smells, no, get that thing away from me. <laughs> so I actually only have two left, but they are really good. Uh, right, Jeffrey Stars. <laughs> so. First off, I have two lip glosses. Now, I will say, if you just, he's just come out with the, um, what are they called? Are they su the Supreme glosses, I think that's what they're called, and they're meant to be more pigmented. But for the normal, regular glosses, don't pay for the, like, pigmented glosses, like, the opaque glosses like this, because it's not worth the money. But if you do want to get a gloss, do get one of his, like, literary ones, because they are quite unique, and I'm happy to pay the price, and I think then it's worth the money. But if you just kind of go for the... Uh, the opaque ones it's kind of a bit of a rip off like i've lip glosses that last a little bit longer than that and and they're a way more way cheaper another one i don't recommend getting is the i mean uh the ammu ammunition lipsticks just because they're average lipsticks and they're overpriced <laughs> that's pretty much like they're probably the most overpriced lipsticks i've ever tried because even the ysl um the ysl lipstick I can't remember it's called now um even that one. Oh wait this is a lip prop you know what i'll show you in a minute i keep forgetting i've got lipsticks in there i'll show you it in a minute but when we get up to it even then i think that's sort of justifiable but still not worth it if that makes any sense but these are more not worth it <coughs> i then have his jeffrey um the normal velvet liquid lipstick so i have these i have had some in the past more than that but they have obviously dried out and then i also have the jeffree star why do i keep saying jeffree star <laughs> the um uh beth you better work it lipstick liquid lipstick collection this is from the crane summer crane collection i think it was summer some of these have run out but i still want to like because it's all in the collection i still want to keep it in there but i don't want to um oh, what's the word i don't want to um yeah, then you know, just throw one in the bin because it looks odd like there's one missing. So I just keep it in there. Um, I then have the um, what are we going to? Then have two Kiko liquid lipsticks. So one's a metallic, and then one is a matte, which is just a matte black. I then have the Rimmel London um, Provoca lips. Um, I actually I had another one, but I think that one ran out. But yeah, I actually quite like it. They're a little bit drying though. I will say that they are a little bit drying on the lips, but I don't mind it. I then have a PS liquid lipstick. I had this in a set. Um, I don't really reach for lip glosses that often, but I do like this color, so I kept that one. This one was from again. This one was from Primark. It came in a collection like the Alice in Wonderland collection with other lipsticks but they kind of broke basically that is not thick enough and clearly I've not really reached for that I've not even used it because it just looks a bit too pale for me why have I got this in this collection I don't even think why don't I just why don't I just declutter it that is not going to suit me at all you know what I'm going to throw it <laughs> I then have the uh, makeup gallery all about the palette lipstick in Marrakesh um, it's all right, lipstick. Uh, I've only worn it a few times though. So, I then have the Avon um lipstick in Lacey Marv. I don't think they do this type anymore, but I do really like the color of it. Um, but yeah, I don't think you can get it anymore. Uh, I then have this one, which I don't even know why, what who it's by, but it, it's a lip gloss. I don't, I don't even know. I then have the um, 
makeup revolution lipstick this one that's the color was it in the shade in the shade um Chahoof. i don't even fucking know what that says and it's not gonna focus on me isn't it like my life is in shadows recently <laughs> like today's just been shit as fuck and then have a kiko lip super gloss which i actually really like this gloss so this is the YSL lipstick, which um, which I was talking about. It's the Rouge Vulture Shine lipstick. Like it's a nice lipstick. Again, it's overpriced, but I just think the lip ammunitions is more overpriced because that's just an average um lipstick. Where this is actually really super like glossy, moisturizing on the lips, and it lasts really well as well. Surprising that it, it's surprising that it is like a high shine lipstick but yeah and then have a mac frost mac frost lipstick in the shade oh i did have another one right and it was in a better shade shade it's like a bluey color but it kind of went all weird like i can't remember exactly but i remember it going all weird and i had to throw it <laughs> which kind of upset me because that was my favorite like color app color between this one and then have the nars pure matte lipsticks one in the shade amsterdam uh, amsterdam and one in carthage amsterdam is like a brownie color and this one is in a hot pink which is my favorite um color so yeah that is it for this collection video so bye guys